Welcome to the next episode in our series on the O antiphons. Today is December 22nd, and the antiphon is O King of the Nations. We begin our time of prayer and reflection. O King, whom all the peoples desire, you are the cornerstone which makes all one. O come and save man whom you made from clay. Several themes come to mind as we reflect on this penultimate of the O antiphons. The first, of course, is that Messiah comes as wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, and that all authority rests upon his shoulders. We also hear reference to the cornerstone, and Jesus reminds his followers that he is the cornerstone and that cornerstone may well be a stumbling block for some. Finally, we remember that in the very beginning we were formed of the dust of the earth, and that to dust we shall return. We are reminded um, that we are, we are dust, and to dust all flesh returns. O King of the nations, and their desire, the cornerstone, making both one, come and save the human race, which you fashioned from let us pray. God is light. If we live and move in light, there is love between us. Lord Jesus, help us to love one another. May we who are called Christians be known by our love. Lord Jesus, help us to love one another. Without love, the world cannot be at peace. Rid our world of hatred and fear. Lord Jesus, help us to love one another. Lord, keep all the dead in your care, those we have loved and those no one remembers. Lord Jesus, help us to love one another. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God and Father, you looked in pity on fallen humanity and redeemed us by the coming of your Son. Grant that we who profess our firm and humble faith in the incarnation of our Redeemer may have some share in his divine life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>